Hello everyone and welcome back to Magical Diaries. I am here with the lovely April and Simon. Say hello guys. Hi. Oh, I'm not lovely this time, am I? Fine. <laughs> You're very Be lovely. Be like that. I'm going. <laughs> Bye. You're lovely, wonderful, fantastic, and everybody loves you. So, yeah. They do. Precisely what I wanted to hear. Thank you very much. <laughs> hello everyone. <laughs> Um, so we are back with Magical Diaries and we are starting off a new week and I just wanted to say on a side note, thank you so much for your positive, you know, reinforcement of this series. We're having a lot of fun doing it and it's good to know that you guys are having a laugh along with us. It's really, really great. If you guys are enjoying this, which we know you are, April does two similar ones on her channel. Well, not similar, but they are visual novels with choices and things and she does it with Kenny and is Thursday. Dating, so it's Dating Simulators, which is quite a cute name, uh, Flower Shop Winter in Fairbrook, and then Saturday Night Creeper, which is my <laughs> particular favourite, and that's a Flower Shop Summer in Fairbrook. So there's a tie between the two of them, and she does it with Kenny, and it's just really, really funny. So I'm going to leave blinks below so you can go and see them. April's probably <laughs> dying of embarrassment right now, because she really didn't want me to do this, but I'm doing it. <laughs> thank you you're you're the best i appreciate it so much they're such good series and if you're not seeing them then you need to see them so yes seriously if you don't do dating simulators go and watch them anyway yeah yeah <laughs> well if you're watching this you must in a way <laughs> this is kind of a dating simulator yeah a little bit kind of we're, we're trying to you know get some vitamin d so. <laughs> right so we've got our next week so as everyone can we see everything everything's running fine yeah yeah no everything's yes. good excellent good. next week morning dorm room i awaken in monday to a sharp rap on the door miss middleton if you please startled ellen hurries to the door i can hear Where's... voices <laughs> Where's this startled Ellen come from? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's like they sleep under the bed or something. Yes. <laughs> She's popped out from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear voices outside while I finish getting dressed. Ellen, of course, and someone more baritone. What's going yeah. on? Is she in trouble? Surely not Ellen. A few minutes later, she returns to the room, clutching a large folder stuffed with papers. What was that about? Nothing, just some black moments. Election stuff, just election stuff. <laughs> black man with you. Do. Um, so you are running. Oh, did we forget to tell you that? She slaps Ellen on the back. Wham. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> ba -dang, ba -dang, ba -dang, ba -dang. Poor Ellen, black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's always hunched over. Like, <laughs> she's my girl. It's nothing. I won't win. And so modest, too. God, do they love each other or something? <laughs> Virginia wants, yeah. Um, yeah. Lula, could you just give us a moment, please? <laughs> just, just, we need about 15 minutes, please. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes? That's twice in the show. <laughs> 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 Gives us a chance to smoke a cigarette too. <laughs> anyway, we have to get ready for class. <laughs> She's right. We need to decide on our schedules for this week. Right. Study, what? study, 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 study. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I did that one last week. <laughs> no, but it was funny, so do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we are low on black magic, so that would be quite good, but our stress is quite high. Um so yeah, what you're gonna want to do is something easier which would be like red blue or green or going to the gym or studying and then um like within the next two days rest and then do black magic the two days after that yeah uh-huh because black magic's more top like harder yeah white is the hardest what? yeah but it makes wonderful chocolates <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I say we're going to go to the gym because we've not been to the gym, so I think going there would maybe be a good idea. Cool. And then sleep, and then, like you say, black magic, and some more black magic to build it up, or is two in a um, too much? That's probably okay. And then maybe, well, your smarts are pretty high. Maybe try white magic after that, white. or like maybe do white, black, black. 
to make sure you so white, um, white to make here? sure you see like yeah white on that on Wednesday and then black and um, okay. Thursday and Friday. All right, I think we're I think I'm starting to understand. <laughs> That's a little bit. Yeah, there's these these intricate little mechanics in these games that are just nuts. <laughs> Taking Jim success. Woo! We haven't got to the trading card game yet. <laughs> yes, I know, right? <laughs> Triple triad. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, nice throw. <laughs> nice oh, throw. Let's all say it together. Yes. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice, nice, nice throw. throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Kyo, a sophomore. I mm. turned to look. It's thank you for pronouncing the name because I panicked. It's Kyo. A well, sophomore. it means today. It's written Kyo, but it's pronounced Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Prince and his symbol. <laughs> I turn to look, it's Bob, a sophomore in Wolf Hall. He's a member of the sports club, but I don't know him very well. Has anyone done him yet? No, he's brand new. Well, uh, well Saluda's probably planning on it. But, uh... <laughs> Thanks. I want to play some one-on-one. -on -one. April, do you want to be Bob? <laughs> uh, sure. Actually, I came over to ask you a question. Huh? Okay, shit. Well, I have this friend who likes this girl. Only, she's never really paid any attention to him. So, since you're a girl, Lost I answer. thought maybe you could tell me how to make a girl like me, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Give her presents. <laughs> Compliment her. Just be honest. Or, wait, is this about me? <laughs> Such a narcissist. I know. I think we'll maybe just say my favourite, which is compliments. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and be honest, yeah? Yeah, that's a, well, that's I, a good I, one. I, As a male, I thought it was all of the above. <laughs> they help. They do. Uh, okay. Yes, they help, but, you know, honest <laughs> they're, is good. They're, they're a little bit of a lubricant. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I shrug. I feel a like... 15 certificate on this one again? Okay. <laughs> If you like someone, just tell her that. If you want her, if you want to go out with her, ask her. But what if she turns me down? Ask someone else instead. <laughs> <laughs> I like what if you lose. come back fifteen minutes later and she's still laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want someone else. I want her. Oh. Well, dot dot dot. Then I hope she says yes. If she doesn't want to go out with you, then she's obviously the wrong girl, right? I will go out with you. <laughs> maybe she just doesn't know me well enough. Yeah, yeah, maybe she doesn't I... want to see someone whose eyes occupy 50% <laughs> of her face. I know, face. they're so creepy! <laughs> Especially now. <laughs> Thanks, Tallulah. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> yeah. Early in the morning, there's a rustle. There's always something happening at this door. Oh. <laughs> Russell? When did Russell start playing this game? <laughs> there's a rustle at the door. Ellen jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Russell. Must, must, must bounce. <laughs> Ellen jumps out of bed as if she'd been waiting for it. More or less. It's a man. Things. A man. <laughs> she returns holding some large sheets of... No, those are posters and a box on top of them. What's Ooh. that? Well, it's it's not photographs of William. It's <laughs> campaign stuff. Let oh, let me see. <laughs> no, let me. <laughs> let me. <laughs> no, you can't see William in the shower. It's just wrong. She, uh, she I already have. <laughs> <laughs> and say the sugar pot. <laughs> oh, dip it in. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the box is a pile of purple construction paper cut into shapes and a little plastic container full of straight pins. I pick up one of the shapes and turn it around. It's a horse pulling a carriage. Written on it is in shining silver ink are the words Ellen Middleton for treasurer. The posters are more of the same. Horses and carriages and dollar signs and treasure chests. Ellen Middleton, the dependable draft horse. <laughs> that's the same one you get if you run. Oh, is it? That's what I, I ran, yep. That's funny. I need to put these posters up, and I'm supposed to hand out these badges. We'll help, won't we, Tallulah? Yes. 
Sure. You're like, no, hard pass. <laughs> really? Thanks. Yeah, I've got a wee soft spot for Ellen. <laughs> She's got I just soft. feel it's I just feel it's a real shame she hasn't done as well as her sisters, Kate and Pippa. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was trying to think up some royal reference as well, but you're just more on the ball than I. <laughs> I was thinking oh. a, a royal joke would be funny right about now, but, you know, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Virginia? Great. I'll take the posters and you guys take the badges. But there's only six posters and tons of these little paper things. The posters need to go up high, and I have longer arms. <laughs> and Ellen's the candidate, so she has to hand out those in person. Virginia's so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue with logic. Oh, she takes the posters and hurries off before anyone can argue with her. She just She's wants rough. the easy job. You don't have to stay. Oh, no, no, I, I said I'd help and I will. Come on. Ellen and I spend the next hour catching passers-by, introducing Ellen as a candidate and giving them paper badges to pin on their robes. I'm sure it's a good way to get her name ready. <laughs> I'm just imagining Ellen standing there with the two badges as her <laughs> nipple covers. <laughs> She just uses them as pasties. <laughs> I can't get it. I'm just so sorry. <clears throat> and now I'm not going to either. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm sure it's a good way to get her name out there, but it's tiring and boring. Stress increases by five. What? Well, I know this worked well, but can I put my shirt on now? <laughs> Everything reduces stress. <laughs> okay, we're down to zero. Good stuff. On Wednesday morning, campaigning is in full swing. All the candidates, not just in my year, but the upperclassmen too, have taken up positions on the main quad, calling out to everyone who passes and handing them colour colourful bits of paper. It's loud and confusing. Some of the older candidates are spraying magic sparkles over their heads to try and draw more attention to themselves, which just makes it worse. Angela for president. Kurgan for secretary. Kurgan. Vote for Jacob. Vote. <laughs> Kurgan. If any of you are named Kurgan, I apologize, but I've never seen that name before. <laughs> I've got an uncle, Kurgan. <laughs> He's such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Ellen in the distance looking slightly overwhelmed while William beside her dutifully bellows in her service. I'm buffeted from place to place and decorated with pins and ribbons, mostly from people I don't even know in elections I'm not eligible to vote in. Class starts to sound like a welcome relief. White oh boy. magic. White. I, I I think it's wonderful. I mean, uh, let's look at it. Be honest here, okay? Vote for Ellen. She's the best, the best, the best person for the job. <laughs> the breast. Laura hates that word. <laughs> yeah, remember breasts? Yeah, but, yeah, but booby doesn't quite work. <laughs> She's the booby person for the job. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have the same ring. No. No. We've learned a new black magic spell called inscription. Write or remove words from a target object. Well, and we've also oh, triggered as well. Sets off simple delayed effects or traps within the co caster's current location can be dangerous. So two spells out of one class, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Black magic again. Oh, no spells this time. Sad times. Nope. After activities on Friday, each class has a scheduled time to come to the gym where the officer candidates will make their final speeches before elections. Since we can't vote in the senior election, there's no reason for us to have to listen to their speeches or vice versa. The freshman slot is the last one in the day. First up are the candidates for freshman class president. <laughs> Minnie Cochran climbs onto the stage looking bright-eyed and enthusiastic and says a bunch of stuff about offering a helping hand to other students. Everyone up to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> then Suki Sato 
Suki Stackhouse, wanders I up know. and starts talking about how she found a caterpillar once that turned into a lizard instead of a moth or something like that. It's a little hard to follow. Oh, and apparently the spirits told her to run for president. Or some spirits. She's not sure which ones. The ones right behind you. <laughs> it's her eyes are the creepiest. They're red. And oh, they are, aren't they? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> applauds, but not as loudly. After that come the presentations for Treasurer. Jacob Blessing, the blazing fire, struts up and gives a very brief speech about how money is obviously in safe hands with him and he knows how to spend it too. Somebody pointed out that he was totally Harry Potter. <laughs> he, he does. He really does, doesn't That's he? Like Harry Potter. Everyone claps and some guy even hoots in approval. Woo! Woo! Now it's yeah. Ellen's turn. She does a better job with the speech than I would have expected, considering how nervous she was earlier. William probably helped her write it. <laughs> Everyone claps, and Virginia and I howl loudly for her. <laughs> Simon. Thank you. You're oh, supposed sorry. to help Whoa. with the sound effects. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, we're English. I'm English, we don't cheer. <laughs> At last it's time for the actual voting. Everyone lines up in single file in the hallway leading to one of the classrooms. One at a time we go inside to cast our votes. Each student is given a pencil and two pieces of paper containing the list of names for each office. You circle the name you want to vote for, then drop the paper into a box. For president, I will vote for... Well, I don't like Suki Stackhouse, so I think <laughs> Mini. Well, he, he, okay, before you like click, just, be, just, just please bear in mind, okay, that uh, one day you're going to be walking down the corridor and there's going to be a voice behind you saying, <laughs> we've got to talk about your vote. <laughs> okay, you don't want to mess with the spirits. <laughs> we need to have a chat, we do. But do you really want a President Suki? I mean, <laughs> do you really want that? <laughs> oh, okay, go for Mini. Go for Mini. Why not? Go for Mini. <laughs> they both have terrible names. <laughs> for Treasurer, I will vote for Jacob. No, I'm looking. Oh, Ellen. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's Jacob, that. Jacob, yeah. <laughs> I will know if you don't vote for me. After all <laughs> the votes are counted, we assemble again in the gym for the results. The position of freshman class treasurer will be held by Ellen Middleton. Yay! She Woo. did it. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! And I'm proud to announce that this year's freshman class president will be Minnie Cochran. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for your hard work this week. You students are what makes uh, what make Iris Academy truly great. The teachers will be seeking out the newly elected officers later today to discuss their positions. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. She's I know I will. We've just had some new trunks delivered. <laughs> <laughs> I stir from my sleep. <laughs> What's going on? I heard a noise. Is Virginia babbling again? Someone's moving around. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the window worked. <laughs> 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 uh, Ellen, what is she doing up this early? Gathering the skirts of her robe, she tiptoes out of the room. Weird, but I'm too sleepy to follow. Ellen, the dirty minx. <laughs> She's going for well, a pretty I had to pay call. him for the printing. <laughs> <laughs> to pay him for the printing. <laughs> when Virginia and I get up in the morning, our allowances are here, but Ellen still isn't. Do you know what's up with Ellen? She snuck out of the room really early this morning. Probably just treasurer stuff. Really? Yes, because treasurers traditionally meet at 3am. <laughs> <laughs> At the crack of dawn on a Saturday? Why do you think, uh, why don't, <coughs> excuse me, why do you think I didn't want the job? Hmm, so what should I do today? 
Mull or study? It's hard to imagine Virginia actually wanting a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, see if you go elsewhere in the mall apart from the shop. Does anything else happen? Um, probably. Oh, have you not tried it yet? Okay. Um, no. Okay, well, why don't we go to the mall then? Because you said our smarts are pretty good. Yeah, and you've, um, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Awesome. And I don't want to give away a spoiler. Uh, a spoiler. A <laughs> spoiler. I think, <laughs> I think I'm stroking out right here. <laughs> what should I do at the mall today? So why don't Oh, blow it, guys. It's them again. Is it Saturday already? <laughs> Quick, put the prices up. I think we should go to the games arcade. Oh, look at this. Ooh. There are only a few old style video games with joysticks and buttons here. Most of the arcade is filled with racing games, dance pads, claw grabbers, things that give out tickets for prizes, and a surprisingly large collection of pinball machines. It's black. And apparently, the 1980s. <laughs> yes. Yeah, those are some old school uh, gaming oh, yes. consoles. Do you know, I would absolutely love to go into a place that had something like that. That looks like a lot you can... of fun. You can actually tell that this was drawn for a Japanese um, digital novel because the um, the arcade consoles in the back, the white ones, that's how the Japanese ones look. All oh, right. <laughs> so we can play a dance game for three dollars, play pinball for two, or use a claw machine for one. Or I wonder just if watch. the dance one has a mini game. Do you but think it might it not? Does? I don't know. It might not. Well, you're the girl with the mouse. We just have to watch and, well, laugh. Please carry on. <laughs> let's, let's see if it does. Maybe it'll give us gym stuff. I <laughs> work up a sweat jumping and tapping to the latest hits. This is more fun than gym class. Strength. Yeah, it gave you stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Strength yeah. increased by you one. Can, you can lose so much weight playing Pump It Up or uh, DDR. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go every day to play uh, Pump It Up. <clears throat> what, and like a machine thing? Yeah, at the there was an arcade near like the pizza place here, and they had a pump it up machine, which is the Korean version. And you'd go and like the music was awesome, and yeah, I'd play for like hours and hours and hours. <laughs> does that, does anyone else think that is particularly unfair? Yeah, you know, putting a pizza place next to the gym. <laughs> yeah, they do that. There is okay. There is a place. Just sidetrack here for a second. There is okay. There's a gym next to a hoopla, which is like a serve a free serve yourself. Um, Frozen yogurt place with all kinds of like candy toppings yeah. and stuff, oh. and a Moe's Mexican Grill, oh my like <laughs> the three of them in a row. It's, it's that, yeah. that is that is some hardcore guerrilla advertising right there. Yeah, it's like the bar in the gym that I used to go to. It's just unfair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Sunday, and the sports club is having a meeting, or rather, a game. Virginia's got the ball and is dribbling it across the floor towards Ellen at the goal. <laughs> God. Coy. Wait, wait. Bob. Bob, sorry. Uh. <laughs> did you call him Coy? <laughs> I did. like the fish. <laughs> no. Bob. Bob. <laughs> Bob cuts in to try and steal, but Virginia sidesteps a twist, a lunge, a swift kick, and the ball flies through the air. Jacob. What are you guys doing? Ellen's head whips around to track the voice of her recent rival. Snap! <laughs> and the ball <laughs> slips past her and into the goal zone. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's me. Yeah, oh, was it? Was <laughs> With a grimace, I go and pick it up. <laughs> this is a sp- Oh, wait, it's loading. This is a sports club meeting. What are you doing here? Maybe I want to play. I'm a fit guy, right? I mean, look at these teeth. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh, he closes his eyes briefly and a wave of green magic sweeps over him. Yes, ladies, I'm this cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't do that. Do what? No magic allowed. What are you talking about? We're wizards. This is real sports, not bounders. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> hey, hello, Bob. <laughs> What's going on? 
this one says you guys are refusing to use magic. What's the point of that? <laughs> um, did you want to keep going or? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Okay, this one. <laughs> rage! Look at her cheeks, like little rage. She's, She's like, like, I will end you. <laughs> <laughs> I will put you in the ground, sir. <laughs> I shall channel my inner Danian. This one. I know when we see baby again. Never. I don't know. Well, that's Soon how we do right it in you. sports club. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. There you go. <laughs> that's just wrong. It's unnatural. You're letting your talents go to waste. Burn the witch. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't say that. In this <laughs> burn the witch. <laughs> <laughs> Form an orderly queue. We'll burn you all in turn. Come on. It'll be fun. Actually, that worked, didn't it? You want to show <laughs> off your skills, don't you? Who's for flying basketball? Oh, God. No, there is no magic allowed in sports club. Maybe we should take a vote on it. <laughs> You're with me, right, Bob? <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Tallulah. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> we should use our magic no well my friend has said no magic allowed so my loyalty goes to her so no magic Aww. allowed I don't think it's a good idea we're only freshmen but we've got players from all four years and we all know completely different spells I could play flying basketball because I can't fly there see Without magic, it's just kitty games. Why should we have to hold back for the best we can do? Yeah, we should be real. <laughs> real losers? <laughs> oh, burn. We need some ice water for that burn there, Kyo. Virginia? Me, Bob. Go to your room, young lady. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's like a mixture because you're not sure I, what it's going to be. I don't care who it is. I'm going to talk like this now because it's the rules and I've got a terribly sore throat. Yes. People without magic and my throat has got all better still have to hold back. You don't pick up the ball on, in soccer. You don't beat the other team to stop them from reaching the goal. Have you seen Australian rules football? People without magic still have to hold back. You don't... Oh, didn't we do this one already? <laughs> do, you, do you ever get yes. a feeling... Do you ever get the feeling of deja vu? What? Do you ever get the feeling of deja vu? Do you ever get the feeling... No, I'm not doing that one again. Oh, God. <laughs> you do your best within the rules. That's good sportsmanship. Jacob just snorts at this. Snorts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could have a special game sometimes with spells allowed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you right? <laughs> I, I, I just don't know what happened to me there. But only certain spells. I'm getting cursed by one of them for sticking up for Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> but only certain spells, so it's fair. We still haven't had a chat about your vote. <laughs> uh, I, I guess. Ellen looks at Jacob. Do you still want to play? Oh, I've had a conversation with myself again, <laughs> haven't I? Call me when you want. Call me when you play a real game. Dober. He leaves. Good. Why are boys so rude? I know. William isn't. Oh, William. Wonderful. <laughs> He's so tender. Okay, <laughs> boys, accept William. <laughs> Big smile on her face. Oh, Come William on. Is a boy. He's a real man. <laughs> Let's get back <laughs> to the game. And at that, we will finish this part. The Duck of Doom has sounded. So thank you again, guys, for joining me. And I hope that you enjoyed this little trip to Horse Hall. <laughs> 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 Such a funny name. Um, please leave oh. a like and a comment below. We love to hear from you and your opinions and all that good stuff. So, thanks again, guys. Hello, it's Balthazar here. When am I going to get included again? Because I'm feeling rather lonely. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, thanks bye. bye.